Hello there, um, this is another CTrader programming tutorial. Um, the intention is actually to help existing algorithmic um, coders that use CTrader to upgrade their old CBOTs to use um, the new .NET 6 that's been shipped with uh, CTrader 4.2. Now many of you are aware that previously you were using .NET 4.7 and above, sorry, 4. sorry .NET 4 and above, um, but now they've started to use .NET 6. Um, if you're not familiar with what .NET 6 is, this site um, explains it in good detail. It says prior to .NET 6, there were two frameworks. There was .NET Framework and .NET Core. The .NET Framework was the original one, just what you use with CTrader, and the .NET Core was open sourced. But now with .NET 6, it's only, I think it was only shipped uh, late last year, um, it's put the two together, and this is the way they're going forward with Microsoft. So this is a very good um, framework. It uses C Sharp 10. It's much, much faster um, than the previous versions. If I just scroll down here, you can see the increase over .NET 5 is 92%, sorry, 92 increase. Um, so have a read of this to understand what .NET um, 6 is and the C Sharp framework. But the idea is that because CTrader are now using such a um, leading edge or bleeding edge technology, it should be light years ahead of other trading platforms. So when you create your algorithms or trading tools, you're using all the rich programming tools that come with um, .NET 6 and uh, Microsoft Visual Studio and the whole lot around um, .NET, sorry, C Sharp um, 10. So what I'm going to do is go straight in and show you CTrader. So th those of you that are familiar using um, CTrader previously, um, you probably wouldn't have seen um, this little thing up here saying .NET Framework 4.x and a choice of .NET 6. Now all your old CBOTs and indicators will continue to run as they did previously, but they're run under the .NET Framework uh, 4 and above, okay? So if you want to upgrade that to .NET 6, I'm going to show you how to do it. But if you don't need to do it, I wouldn't bother. It's only if you want to use the additional features. Now this upgrade only works with um, very basic CBOTs and indicators. If you wanted to upgrade uh, more complex where you're referencing libraries or, or other different classes, then you might have to um, go through Visual Studio and do it yourself. So if, for example, there's some very basic sample bots here that CTrader provide. Now, if I wanted to upgrade, um, say, the breakout CBOT, and I want to upgrade this to .NET 6, it's very simple. You just go to the top, change it to .NET 6, and build. Okay. And that's stuck in a build for some reason. Oh, it's just built. It just took some time. Now, what will happen is if I right click on here and go edit with Visual Studio, if you've got Visual Studio 2022 in, uh, installed, it will open up Visual Studio 2022 because it's got .NET 6 on there. So for those of you that aren't quite using this, .NET, um, sorry, Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition is uh, free of charge. You can download it from the Microsoft website. It's a very um, amazing um, development environment that you want to use. So if you don't want, if you don't want to use the very basic sort of um, development environment that comes with CTrader, you can use this, and it's a lot more um, better for actually managing your projects. If you're doing some very basic CBOTs, then you can just use, um, you know, the uh, um, C Trader development environment. Now, if you go into here and you look at dependencies and uh, frameworks, you can see it uses the Microsoft.NET Core app packages. It uses the C Trader automate package that comes from NuGet. Now, I'm going to close this. So, what I could could have done then, I could have actually started editing the project in um, .NET 6. Now, if for example you've got an old project, a legacy project, sorry, not legacy, old project, you can right click and edit in Visual Studio. Now, if you've still got um, Visual Studio 2019 installed, which I would do for the moment because I'm using 2019 plus 2022. If you edit with Visual Studio, this will open up uh, Visual Studio 2019. So this is slightly different than the one I just opened up before. So the whole idea is for now, if you are uh, want to code with legacy bots, um, I would still continue to use 2019 for editing your old, um, sorry, not legacy, your old CBOTs and indicators. Um, because it has the right references and you can edit it and build it straight from here because it has the CBOT API reference. You can just build it. And if I build it, it will build the actual CBOT or indicator. Now, if you want to use um, some of the newer .NET 6 frame, uh, sorry, .NET 6, then it will open up Visual Studio 2022. So for now, install both. And depending if you're working with your old CBOTs or whether you want to create new ones, you've got the choice of Visual Studio development environment. Um, one of the things you can do as well is if I click new here, it will create a new CBOT, and as you see here, I'll just build it. I have to get rid of that and type in new here to find it. Now, this is the new CBOT I've just found. Now, this will automatically build it for .NET 6. Any new CBOTs or indicators that you're going to develop using um, 
CTrader 4.2, it's going to actually create a .NET 6. Um, um, you can use it with .NET 6, sorry. So that's that. Um, it should be straightforward and easy to use. There shouldn't be any difficulties or problems for you. Like I said, if you're using some very complex um, projects or solutions, then you might want to find a different way to actually doing your upgrade. You could do it through Visual Studio and find out that. Now, again, um, come to this page. I'll put the link at the bottom of this YouTube video. But if I go to one of our forums here, so there'll be a link to access this. Under here, you've got Cbot coding. If you've got any questions um, or queries about using it, then come here and have a look. We've got a section here on how to debug a Cbot using Visual Studio 2022. This is going through all the details of how you would actually debug your code um, using Visual Studio 2022 uh, for .NET 6 and CTrader 4.2. And it's also got some other things on how to edit a CBOT in Visual Studio. So again, I'm going to put this um, a little article in here for the video I've just done. But if you do have any questions, just come to this site. The link will be at the bottom of this video um, on the comments and it will be um, linked. If you're not familiar with who we are, we are our Click Algo. We provide um, trading software and education for the CTrader trading platform. We've also got a coding service. So if you need any help coding your CBOTs or indicators, give us a call and uh, we can give you help. Okay, that's it. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps our ranking so we can create more cool videos to help you understand how to program. Thank you very much.